Next topic here on Sports Medicine Weekly, workout supplements. First question for Dr. Cole, do you take a protein supplement before or after your workout? I know you work out a lot. I do because I do a fair amount of strengthening and conditioning and you know, you can do what you do in terms of consuming good food, getting whole whole food with protein and other things in it. But for me, I think it's not enough, especially when you're breaking down muscle in terms of performance and recovery. So I do use a supplement, and typically I'll use a whey protein. And I kind of space it out. Is that out. after? I do it. Actually, I was going to say, I kind of space it out space it out throughout the day. There's lots of science behind it, but my general philosophy is to kind of space it out throughout the day and use that as an addition to just whole food, good quality nutrition where you get protein that way as well. All right. I want to talk about amino acids supplements uh, versus protein powder. Our next guest, expert on this, Jay Jacobson, a global director of education of three great brands, Optimum Nutrition, BSN, and Isopure. Hey, Jay, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, tell us the difference between taking protein powder and any of the amino acid supplements. Yeah, I think that's a great question. And as Dr. Cole mentioned, um, ideally, we want to try to get as much of our protein as we can from food, from whole food. Uh, beyond that is protein powders. And the reason being protein powders are what we call complete proteins or intact proteins. They have all the full spectrum of amino acids that our body needs for repair, rebuilding, and recovery of muscle. Beyond that, we use amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein for more specific functions. So the hierarchy is always food first, then protein supplements, then amino acids such as branch chains for more specialized use. Got it. And do uh, do many of your protein powders and supplements contain amino acid supplements on top of it, or are they typically just a whole protein? Typically just a whole protein, but we do have some specific products like our Platinum HydroWay under our, amino, our, our Optimum Nutrition line that has additional branch chain amino acids, additional glutamine for performance and recovery support. There's And the other thing, you know, we use this for the bulls, I'll tell you, they're, they will divide it up and say, okay, you know, during the day, you're going to take whey protein, but at night, you're going to do casein protein. And then there's a couple of our guys who are will consider themselves almost vegetarians and are now, you know, deviating towards the veg, vegetable source of protein. Can you just give us an overview of, you know, is there a superior type of protein? Because it is really confusing. Yeah, that's a great question. And, and from a pure performance standpoint, from an academic standpoint, we agree that dairy proteins are the king of proteins in terms of amino acid profile supporting muscle protein synthesis. So the main difference between whey and casein, which are both dairy proteins coming from milk, um, whey protein is very fast digesting. So we like to use that post-workout or after-workout to help stop muscle breakdown and begin the recovery process quickly. And then casein protein is the slowest digesting protein. It takes about eight hours to digest. So we like that before bed. So that gives us a steady stream of amino acids to support repair and recovery while we sleep, which is really, really important because that's when the bulk of your recovery from your training takes place. Visiting with Jay Jacobson, he is the Global Director of Education of Optimum Nutrition, BSN, and ISOP here. Next question, Jay, should I consume a protein shake before or after a workout? Great question, and the jury is actually out on that. So for the last 10, 20 years, we've said after workout, absolutely, and the reason being from a more scientific perspective, the body becomes very sensitized to specific amino acids post-training. So looking for those amino acids to support recovery. But there's also good reason to believe that there's a bigger window, uh, what we call a peri window of opportunity around muscle protein synthesis that begins about two hours pre-workout, continues during training, and then extends for a couple hours after. So most of the world today focuses on post-workout protein, which is very, very important if you're only going to take it once. But depending on when you eat your last meal, you might want to consider a protein shake a couple hours before training as well to give you a bigger window of recovery opportunity. Great stuff, Jay. Appreciate all your help and uh, continued success with everything you do with uh, Glambia, Optimum Nutrition, uh, BSN, and Isopure. Thank you, gentlemen, for having me. Much appreciated. Steve, just as a side note, you know, I've mentioned my new website, Brian Cole MD, as well as our Facebook page, which is Brian Cole MD. 
we had a awesome contest offering a month of free Shred 415. Uh, for those of you who agreed to follow, you guys did a great job. And we randomly chosen Chrissy Chodos. So, Chrissy, you're our winner, and you will win compliments of Shred 415, one month of free classes. So congratulations, and thanks, thank you for following us on Brian Cole, MD. All right, great stuff. Up next on Sports Medicine Weekly, Ask the Doctors segment. Stay with us. This is 670 The Score.